Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Eternity, the White March, and we are back in um, First Fires at the Crucible Night. Going to talk to Dunstan, but before we do, um, doesn't look like anybody needs to talk to me. I was looking at, I noticed there was like a sign over here where my stronghold was at, and it looks like we have, um, there was an assignment here, Blackwater's Broken Tombs. So, at the southern southeastern edge of Erglaflin, anyway, the isolated town of Arena's Tears sits on the northern shore of the Lake of Drowned Tombs. Lately, a strange phenomenon has turned the lake's clear waters black. Strange still, the town's stone tombs have been breaking open from the inside, the skeletal occupants slowly marching to the water's edge and into the depths. So it gave me an option to assign somebody, so I, uh, I assigned Essel um, to it. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk to Dunstan. Something else on your mind. Uh, Commander Cliver said you're working with an Animancer to build Forge Knights. So much for his talk of secrecy. I, I'm building Cleaver's Metal Warriors. He says they're what we need to keep order and defiance bay, so... Mmm, and how are you creating these Forge Knights? Suits of armor and souls. Cliver's had me repairing and reinforcing unused armor for months now, just so we can fill them with some poor soul's essence. He wipes his shining brow. As long as that scholar girl's got scholar girl's got her numbers right, and fusing the armor with a soul won't be that hard. But that's not what bothers me. And you need Diana's research to complete them? She's been working on a method to transfer the souls into the armor. Getting the process just right is critical. He holds up one hand. Find the souls too, Tyler, and you'll get something like those flesh constructs at the sanitarium, barely bright enough to avoid walking into a wall. He raises his other hand. But bind them too loosely, and they'll be too self-aware for their own good. Mad killers in metal bodies. Well, that's not a good thing. Do you disagree with Cliver about the Forge Knights? I disagree with him on near about everything, and this is no exception. These Forge Knights won't solve our manpower problem. He can call them what he wants, but they aren't knights. Doesn't take Termax nose to smell the trouble here. A group that can't stand together is headed for a fall. Yep, I totally agree. He folds his hand and looks at the ground. And don't get me started on the other problem. Those souls he brought, he bought to power the Forge Knights. Cliver keeps telling himself that they came from willing donors, but he knows better. There's a reason you have to buy souls through less than legal channels. We should be clearing these scavengers off the road, not doing business with them. Um, enough about the Forge Knights. If only. Um, so I think this is what you've been looking for. Knights of the Crucible, moderate positive. To Pines Bay, minor po positive. Oh, I don't know. Do I want to give it to him? You're gonna be making a um, um, an army of, of an army of armor that's powered by souls. Hmm. That's what Cleaver's been looking for anyway. If you found it, I guess I've got to start. So I gained experience. You don't too, you don't sound too happy about this. I'm not, and I made it clear to Cleaver that this is a mistake. Trying to harness souls like this, it's a crime against the gods, and it's bound to earn us more trouble than it was. But Cleaver's given his, me his orders, so I've got to build those things as best I can. But i got to build these things as best I can. Anyway, Cleaver's told me I'm to sell you any arms or armor you might want. You won't find better anywhere in Defiance Bay, I can promise you that. Now, time to see if that Valian was worth all that blood and copper. He takes a polished breastplate and goes to work. Hello? I'll be damned. To be honest... Even I wasn't expecting it to work this well. Oh, really? Back to it. Cleaver will want me to finish the rest of them. And it sounded like he has a job for you, too. Oh, he does? Okay. Show me what you have for sale. I know I got stuff for sale. Maybe. Um... Am I going to end up with another wizard? Uh, 
I don't know. Um, I've been trying to save the ones that have been... But, um, I don't need that many of them. Definitely don't need him. Oh, I got all this stuff. I mean, I could sell it, I suppose. Especially the ones I have multiple of. Four high. Do I need that for anything? I think if it's something that I needed it. Um. I I don't know if I am or not. Pry bar. I got two pry bars. I got a gapping hook. I imagine. Um. Oh, but we do use the grappling hooks. Yeah. Um. I forgot about that. Let's take a couple of them back. Anything that's two, get rid of one of each. We only need one. Do need all this stuff here. Yeah. Concentrated ground when hit by a critical hit. One per encounter. Hmm. This is tough to look at later when I've got oodles of money, but I don't have oodles of money. Okay, so built to last. I delivered. That's done. Stronghold actions. Oh, okay. Um, after several futile nights of waiting, Elsa has finally discovered the origin of the lake's black waters. The Ian Biff of a wit who had settled in Iranian's tears over a century ago. Locals had accidentally plowed up her burial plot. Her remains had slid into the lake during a fierce storm. The spirit previously contented to haunt the field had begun calling her old neighbors down and the lake with her. When the help of the, with the help of the locals, Elsa was able to put the lake to rest. Most of the corpses were able to be returned to their tombs, but not all of the tombs could be reassembled. Elsa brought back a piece of one mystery tomb as a souvenir. Hmm. So I got 170 experience. Um, all this goes on the neck. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. Max health? Oh no, that's minus max health. So you get 20 plus max endurance, but then minus 20 max health. Mm, but you get 10 plus accuracy against spirit. I don't know if it's worth that much. Mm -mm. I mean, it's not worth any money either, really. Okay. So that's one of them that came back fine. So I need to talk to... Is he in the war room or the train? He's in the war room, I think. That's the archives. Can I go to the archives now? This isn't the place I was thinking of for archives, right? There isn't anybody here. I already took everything out of here. Okay, so I need to go to the war room. Then. That's for Cleaver is that which is that's the barracks the war room is up here yep okay so he's got a job for me never ending you know that's how we build up our um how we build up our rep Oh, maybe assistance was there more you needed me to do Dunstan will complete the first squad of forge knights in no time now the High Justice will want to have his Forge Masters at Fleetbreaker Castle create more. I've made a copy of Viana's research, and the High Justice has sent a courier to Anslog's Compass to retrieve it. The dozens have gotten too active for the courier to come to Defiance Bay. And after Viana's kidnapping, we've got to assume they know about our plans. That's why I'm sending you to deliver the research. You shouldn't be recognizable to the dozens. Yet. Okay, yeah, now there's a revealing word, yet. 
But after this, I expect they'll learn of your association with this and they won't be too happy about it. Neither will the Dom Dominils. He snorts. They're trying to expand the family business and they resent us for standing in the way. I need someone I can trust, and you've proven your integrity both in my service and in Defiance Bay. Hmm. Well, the Crucible Knights may be icky, but the dozens are worse. Yeah, consider it done. Anslug's Compass is a small lagoon just north of Defiance Bay. Your contact will be a commander named Aaron Road. She'll meet you by the docks. Return to me when you've finished. The High Justice has made the expansion of the Forge Knights his top priority, which means it's mine as well. Okay. Winds of Steel. In fact, his High Justice wants to expand by having his own Forge Masters build more of Forge Knights. Is this going to bite us in the butt? I have a feeling it is. I have a feeling it's going to bite me in the butt. Hmm. All right, so what do we have left? I think it's, um, I have to go to Brackenberry. I have to go to Cal Copper Lane. So Brackenberry is only one thing. And Brackenberry is down here. Yes, it is. That wasn't too far away. Brackenberry. So we need to go to, he's at the Cracked Barrel. Which is over here. Yep. Okay. Or I could keep it. But I think it's a quest item. So I don't think there's something, anything I can do with it, actually, to be honest. Um, let me look at that. I think it's under my quest stuff. Um, yep, it is, it is, it does give me might. This medallion is a grade with ancient two plus might. Hmm, I could use it if I wanted to, I suppose. <clears throat> and I think he was kind of more or less right in the doorway. Yep, he was right there. Okay. Gods keep you. The fancy elf eyes you in your pack. Did you do it? Did you get the medallion from Cyril? Twin elms, moderate negative. Oh, so there's a, there is a place called that. Yes, I did. Tristan's um, eyes, Thurston, Thurstwin's eyes are as wide and round as the artifact in his hands. You've given my people a gift you couldn't possibly repay. We couldn't possibly repay. I'll do the best I can, though. He shoves a bag of coin into your hands. This is everything I have. Take it, please. Keep keep it. Your clan could use it to rebuild. Yeah, they could. The Shattering Spirit will sing of your kindness for generations to come. If you ever find yourself in El Goplin, please honor us with your visit. Farewell. He hurries out of the room the inn, his fancy cloak dragging on the ground. So moderate positive. Alright. So that's one done. I got the medallion. Alright. Now we need to go to Copper Lane. Copper Lane? I still have the Heritage Hill. I know that. Copper Lane is right over here. Um... I still have Heritage Hill to take care of, but it's on my, it's, it's on my list, so, okay, Copper Lane, here we go. And then I think I'm going to go back, no, because I still have to do the catacombs. I have to do the catacombs. I think there's two people here I need to do. Um, did I just go the wrong way? Most likely I did. So I need to go to... Uh, Goose and Fox? Marketplace? Uh, where did I have to go? Scrimmage Dormitory? I think the Hall of Revealed Mysteries is one. And the catacombs are right down here. But I thought there was more. Oh, I needed to go to the, um, 
the expedition hall. I think that's where the dozens is at. Yeah. All right. Let me take a look here. Rogue Knight. Um. Yeah, he's on. He's in the expedition hall. But I think we had at all cost the package to. Okay. Uh, head of the running train post in Defiance Bay. Want you to deliver a package. Deliver the package to in Copper Lane. It's getting very, oh, so I do have to go to Goose and Fox. Okay, I thought I did. Um, that's not. That's the Long Hunt. Rogue Knight. All costs. Um, travel to the cave. Um, this is it. Go to the Hall of Revealed Magic. And then I would have to go back to Blackenberry, Brackenberry Sanitarium. I'll call. I know there was a thing about the Halls of Revealed Magic. A mystery is not magic. Re mystery. Come on. I know it's a ways to go. Okay, so as soon as they walked in, find the Elder Archives. I found a way inside the Hall of Revealed Mysteries, but the Elder Archives lies behind more locked doors. Yeah, that's right. That's up here. Um... So this is actually some kind of... Hail and well met. Tell me about yourself. Okay, that isn't going to be what I need. Uh, Scribner, Jim, I think he just was a... I need to find a way... Light, to... flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Oops, come on. So I need to find a way in. Priest, priest, oh I forgot there was something down here, we want, oh big help, they came down together, <laughs> we split up. Alright, how do we get in? Yeah, I thought I did. Um, oh, I did. Uh, I made it into the Elder's Archives and Manuscript that Needy Asper should be in here somewhere. So I just walked right in. I couldn't walk into it before. Now I am. Okay. Um, Animancer in the modern age. You know what? Let's go here and shut this door first. There we go. Oh, I can steal. Queen that was and still is. Oh. Okay. This is Scroll of Valor and Scroll of Defense. Well, come on. Uh, the Life and Discoveries of Pendagrin. Trap detected. Okay. Would you look at this? You cannot disarm this trap. Do you wish to trigger it? Okay, everyone. Back over here. And then it's just me. Yes. That's so fine. Good. Yeah, that's fine. Did we all get hurt? 
All right, there we go. The theorems. Um, I suppose I should read it, huh? Theorems. A heavy old book that carries the dust of centuries. Its pages are as fine and thin as onion skin and covered with obscure diagrams and notes of animancy. We all got a little damaged, I think, didn't we? My eyes are peeled. Oops. Oh, my God. I shut the door. Oh, my God. I shut the door. All right. How do we get out of here now? Oh, I stole it. violent impulses at the word of a heroic academic. <laughs> you don't usually grace me with your flattery, priest. What merits this attention? All Rawatai's history is war, same as everyone. If only the world were led by soft-hearted giants who waste their muscles stroking their own quills. Oh, wouldn't that be grand? I'm content to remain a burr in your boots. But here, if you but stand on the docks, you can single-handedly ensure no one ever sails to the Deerwood again. Hmm. Okay. So I need to go back... Brackenberry Sanitary. Alright. So, I guess that's where we're going. Get back... Uh, which is down here. Come on. Back and forth. That's one of the things with these games. Back and forth, back and forth. All right, so we're back in Brackenberry, getting into this uh, sanitarium. And who is it we're supposed to speak to? Mead, Meeting, and where was she at? Um, I don't remember where she was at. I wish they'd had them marked on the map, but they don't. Usually they're like right here. I think she was somebody Upstairs, maybe? That's Nons. I think she was upstairs. Yeah, she. I think she was in the first door on the left-hand side. Up here. No, that's her. That's him. Couldn't get in these places, that's right. Okay. No, no. I thought she was upstairs. Okay. Let's do this again. And a man, sir. Oh, she's outside. Oh, my God. I, I have to learn how to read. I have to learn how to read one of these days. I forgot she was outside. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. She's right there. Here we go. Good day to you. It's nice to see you and all, but I really need to focus on my studies. Um, you'll never believe what I found. You... Lady Lambert, you really found it? 
kneaded, cradles the musty tomb like a newborn. I can't believe it. It really exists. She looks back to you. Thank you so much. This will be invaluable. She almost turns to the book, but at the last moment, she remembers herself and gives you a bag of coin. Uh, 500 copper, experienced. Uh, I'm glad this will be useful to you. I don't suppose you could spare a little more. Uh, I was glad to help. Anything else? She looks eager to return to her studies. No, nope, I'm done, done. Okay, so that's one number done. Um, I obtained the Therese Maroon, who was ecstatic to finally have it in her hands. And I stole it. Okay, so we need to go back to Copper Lane. Back to Copper Lane. Hmm, so I was walking along a camera in fast mode. I got this person, Gordy, says, Psst, over here, miss. And then I was fast, so I don't know. Anyway, we're going into the dozens to return that breastplate. You know, I never even looked at that breastplate to see if, um, was it worth anything? No. No. I didn't think it would be. Okay, so now we gotta figure out where he's at. Um, I think... Where was he? Oh, I think he was over here. I think. Um... Mercenary. Here he is. Yep, he's in the training area. Let me know how it goes with the knights. Is this the armor you wanted? Auric wavers a moment in disbelief. He looks at you, then back at the breastplate. He reaches for it slowly, as if expecting it to disappear before he can touch it. How did you manage this? You were right about the affidavit. Unfortunately, Pinhelm forced me into a fight. A stance is a stance. A shaman ended like that, but he's the lion weasel who started this. You did all I asked, and you are owed much. He withdraws a letter. Com he draws. He withdraws a letter. Coin purse, purse from his pocket and hands it to you. Stop by Sno Snownid's shop on the other side of the hall. She sells some of the best gear in the city, and I'll see that she opens her inventory to you. Minor positive. The dozens moderate positive defines being minor positive. I need more positivity. Um, there's something else I wanted to do. What is this armor to you anyway? Orsic looks around trying to appear casual. Oh, it's nothing really, just a keepsake. But I thought we already knew it was something to do with this family. So I gained 2,000 copper. Okay. He tries to look into the... And he look, tries to look you in the eye, but when he does, he appears to consider. He sighs. It commemorates the Order of Magra, highest order of value, awarded to the dead, never the living. Us Darwidians, real Darwidians, we don't have nobility or birthrights unless you're some copper fucker from Adri. All we got, all we got's the honor we bring to our family name. Uh, ah, copper fucker, that's a new one. <laughs> yeah, he likes to use customers. So this, he pauses considering the weathered metal, a pale image of his former self, but still catching the light, is something we live up to. Got business Got business with me? Um, no, no. I'm looking for work. You want an expedition? Talk to Wenon. I just handle these mercenary shit shovelers. Okay. All right, so Rogue Knight, that's done. I need to go to the Goose and Mal or the Goose and something. Um, I think she's over here somewhere, isn't she? When do you now have a quest for us? I can't remember if you did already. What else do you need? I'm looking for work. I bet I don't have any for your a lackey of the Crucible Knights. Hmm. No, oh, very well. That's fine. That's fine. I think the forge was over here. Where was the forge?
doesn't matter. It does not matter. I'm a lackey of the Crucible Knights. Well, I don't like what you guys did. Mm-mm. So now I have to go to the Goose and Fox. Which is right here. Yep, Goose and Fox. There is something we're supposed to return here, too. It'll lighten up my inventory, even though the quest items don't mean anything. But still, I'm carrying all this shit around with me, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So who am I supposed to speak to in here? Um, Tide and Time. Um, at all costs. Deliver the package to Garath. Yeah, and Copper Lane. Where are you, Garath? That's Bishop. Is he the bartender, maybe? Here he is. A man that skulks near the bar. He seems like he's trying to blend in with the wood paneling, and he watches the other patrons out of the corner of his eye. He gives you a quick nod as you approach. What do you do here? Meh, me? I'm just minding my own business. Well, of course. You're standing by yourself in the corner of a tavern, and you're not drinking anything. Not suspicious at all. Maybe I should ask some of these other patrons what that business is. No, no, dude. Yeah. Garrett's nervous eyes dart around the room. Keep it down, will you? I really am here to do business, but it's the kind of thing that requires discretion. And unless a mutual friend has sent you to me, that's all I've got to say on the subject. Mm -hmm. Well, they did send me to you. Hello. Lorenzo has a delivery for, for you. He glances around and snatches the pouch from you. Keep your voice down, will you? The Dominoes have spies everywhere. He tucks the pouch away. You tell... Lorenzo, this is the last time I'm buying from him. This is getting too dangerous for me. Hmm. Did I just do something illegal? Uh, no. He grins weakly. I don't think I've heard of the Dominoes. The more important thing is making sure they don't hear of you. They're old Brackenberry stock, but these days the Dominoes are known for their business activities, most of which involve some degree of bribery, extortion, theft, or murder. Hmm. So what do they have to do? What do ha what do they have to do with this? You have no idea, do you? Let's just say that the Dominoes have um, exclusive rights to trade a certain merchandise within the city. Ronzo likes to make some extra coin from time to time by dealing in the same merchandise, undercutting the competition. He says. So tell me, what was in that pouch? Bitter squash seeds. They interrupt pregnancies, even though they're not exactly legal. Many folk. Nowadays, prefer them to the risk of hollowborn or celibacy. He pulls, he pulls a wiry grin. Okay, are we done? Yeah, we're done. Now get out of here before... Before what? Um, a woman swaggers in, her polished boots wanking the floor with slow, deliberate steps. A crooked sneer warps her smooth face. Gareth, I'm hurt. You promised to buy only from me. What's a girl to think? Hmm. Gareth bows his head, knocking together. His bows. Gareth bows, his knees knocking together. Please, my lady, I was just explaining that I don't do business with anyone else. Except this one. Except this one last time, right? Dana crosses her arms and rocks back on her heels. There's always one more deal. Until you run out of credit, that is. Dana turns and regards you, looking you up and down. And just who are you? You don't exactly look like a seed dealer. Aloth glances at Gareth. I think this that's a compliment. <laughs> um no one to be trifled with. House Domino slight positive. Hmm. Just some someone making a delivery. No one to be traveled with. How slight positive? Why that be? Why would that be slight positive? Hmm. Yeah. No one to be trifled with. Her grin widens. I just might have a use for someone like you. 
Moranzo put you up to this, didn't he? That old fool's on a sinking ship, and he's determined to drag anyone who gets close enough down with him. She eyes the trembling Gareth. Gareth here knew better, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. In fact, I'll also give you a chance to get even with the imbecile who's been playing us both. She knows her eyes. What do you say to Karen? What do you say to killing Varenza? Um. Why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't you? He's used you to do his dirty work and without telling you anything about what you were carrying or who you were crossing. She taps a finger to her jaw and her voice slows. Of course, I'd also consider it a personal favor and House Demerol is never stingy with his friends. She glances at Gareth. The loyal ones, anyway. So this is how I would get into them, hmm? So tell me about the Dom Dominels. I don't know whether to be relieved or insulted. We're one of the wealthiest merchant families in Defiance Bay. Let's just say, however, that some of our business practices are not officially sanctioned. Gareth groans and stifles a sob. Hmm. I'll decide his fate when I talk to him again. Wow. Do I want to go into in with them? Hmm, I'll decide his fate when I talk to him again. You'd better make up your mind quickly because we're going to pay him his dues one way or another. Just make sure you stay out of our way. Okay. Hmm. Quest completed. Crime cartel, he's waiting for me. Uh, I don't know, training company. Oh, I gotta go back there. When I confront him, I'll have to decide how I want to handle this. His treachery. Hmm. Well. Hmm, hmm. How do I want to handle that? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm trying to build a reputation for myself here. Is that going to give me a reputation or not? He was in Orland. I, I have to go back to all this everywhere again. That goes. To, I had to go back to first fires, and then over that way, or I can go to the catacombs. I haven't been there yet. That in, that kind of in, does one of our other side quests, or yeah, one of our um, companions quests. And I'm I'm itching to do some some investigating. Okay. Can we talk to you? You see an older dwarf counting coins behind a grimy sh shop window, hair limp with grease and sweat, a sneer playing around the edges of his pinched mouth. The bargains of the day he scattered across the table from tarnished twatty jewelry to an acid encrusted dagger dagger line for kerosene near the edge. His half nose, he's got a half nose, his no, half nose twitches in anticipation as a customer enters a disheveled young no, noble, once white doublet stained with a life gone wrong. Eyes dart behind him, searching for pursuit before he dumps the contents of his, of his Hygian bag on the table. The dwarf leans forward, fingers flicking through the silverware and assorted goblets. He shakes his head emphatically. Sneer fully settled, shoving the items back at the man. The man pleads, begs, eyes rolling, panicked in their sockets, asking for something, anything, a few silvers. The dwarf leers and tosses three copper pads, pans on the table. Desperate, the young noble tears a signet ring from his finger to the elf's ill-concealed delight. A few more coins go into the pile, and the defeated man, swearing Sweating stitches under his swear, swearing stitches under his breath, ex exits the shop. The venerable dwarf grins at his good fortune, picking food out of his two sharp teeth as he examines his hall. You're not a nice person. There are a lot of nasty people here. A lot of nasty people here. 
All right, let's go down in the catacombs. See what we have. All right. Oh, we're gonna have something interesting going on here. Time to see and not be seen. Okay. We have a dead initiate. As you approach the dead man, you can feel the faint traces of his soul lingering, a stunned uncertainty holding it in place. When you hear without warning, the soul when you near without warning, the soul hurries towards you, as though you were a solitary light in the dark gloom of this place, come to usher it away. Its essence invades your consciousness. You are in a different body now, walking deeper into the catacombs, cloaked in a dark robe with a mask pulled over your face. You're following a familiar path along the canal, heading to a room built around a statue of a figure wearing a robe much like yours. Others await, clothed in hoods and shadows. Ahead is another figure dressed like you, traveling in the same direction. You don't know his name, and that's how it's supposed to be. Out of the darkness, something monstrous grabs the other figure. You turn to flee, but find yourself face to face with the troll. The panic pounding through your brain is interrupted by razor-edged teeth and claws. You, wrap, you snap yourself out of the dead man's memory. The corpse lies on the damp and grimy ground. His hood and mask are missing and his clothes are shredded. Okay, near far from the queen. Marijuana has told you they might find the lead, um, find a way into the Temple of the Woodman. The Temple of the Woodman is in ruins. An old spirit haunting the temple told me about an alternate entrance through the catacombs. He said it should be near the southern gate of the Copper Lane. Okay, a hooded man, presumably a member of the Leiden, Leiden Key, was ambushed on his way through the catacombs. The disguise that would get him past the Leiden Key sentries was lost when the man was carried off by trolls. So this is supposed to be a clue, I, su I assume. I assume. Eh? No problem. Problem. Okay, we got a troll up here. Is that what this is? Yep. We keep we keep interrupting him. We never really had a chance. Yeah, he kept trying to engage us, but we kept interrupting him. So he never really had a chance to hit any of us. That's pretty cool. That troll skin. We don't want troll skin. Time to see and not be seen. All right, so which way does this go? We can go across the canal. We're going to go down this way first. We got another. Oh, we got some black ooze. Wow, that kind of is pretty damn good. Okay. Got rid of the black ooze. Anything over here you can see? Oh, you can go up this way. Oh. What does this say? Oh, this is one of those memorials. Okay. Is this how we get lost? Another memorial? Yep, another memorial. Nope. Hmm, what's in here? Oh, trap detected. you look at this I was able to deep cool all right we got a um, racers of endearing let's see what it is um, constitution and resolve what do I have I have restore light endurance deeper in perception 
about you? Do you have any clubs? You do. You have accuracy. This is better. got two dexterity dexterity oh this isn't as good okay your dexterity is better uh, how about you then you don't have any give that to you then okay that'll work hmm sure yep Lockpicks. We needed some too. That'll work. I'm running across different areas where I can't get into them. Oop, another trap detected. All right. Would you look at this? All right. And this is um, mine mall male armor. I think we have somebody has fine male armor. This is medium armor. Um, for now, let's just give it to you. Okay, so that one took that away. And we have a lesser black booze. Wow. I feel like maybe I was supposed to be here sooner. No problem. Okay, it took a stair. This does go further down. I believe. Better save, because you know if I don't, then something nasty is going to happen. Yep, we got more black ooze. Why can you not fighting? I'm gonna have to check his settings. Hey. Yeah, why are you not fighting? Aggressive, defensive, aggressive, aggressive. Maybe we need to put it on aggressive, aggressive, because he didn't... He wasn't attacking for some reason. Hmm. Eh? You got more? Hey, we got several oh, black ones here. And you, you can go over here this one. <laughs> Okay, you are going to attack that. Oh, we got more coming at us, all this oozing. All right. Where are you attacking? Come on, over here. Eh? Okay, so where does this all go? Another bridge. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, something over here. It is a skeletal fighter. A couple of them. All right. This thing is doing the job. Okay, so it's not doing the job. <clears throat> about fire on him. You can do that. Mm. How come you didn't do anything? Are you still conjuring or what? You. skeleton so we should end up with um, some stuff from them we got more skeleton figures oh we got a whole bunch of them here okay we know fire works on their asses real well Okay. You need um That's it. You Good stuff here. Got it. Uh, sarcophagus. Oh, looks like there's a way through there. Oh. Yeah, it's just uh, nothing special. Hmm. in here okay so this is a room that goes around trap detected okay would you look at this he has got the armor is that me yeah I wasn't able to to unlock it you built to disarm the trap. Am I the right one? Yeah. I am. Hmm. Eh? I think there's another room over here, too. There is. Sure. Maybe another trap over here? Probably, that's why there's a dead body here. Um, he has got a pistol. Um, you're the one who uses a pistol. I think I've looked at that before. Is a pistol better for him than his Erebus? Very slow, that's the problem. 26 to 35. 
this is actually better. Here's damage, accuracy. Um, thing is, is he's got burn damage on his because I put it on there. But a pistol. Oh, his range is longer on the Ar Erebus. Hmm, Aquabus? Something to think about. He can go more distance. Hmm. Oh, I know, I feel like there's a trap up here somewhere. Yep, yep, I thought so. There, done! I got that one undone, okay. Hopefully this will go around. Oops, 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 nope, back, back, back. You. Eh? There, done! Okay. Sure. Okay, just sneak on ahead. Oh. A lone figure in tattered robes shuffles across the chamber, muttering under its breath. As you approach, the figure halts and swivels to head towards you. He, his, it's, its haggard vestige is a labyrinth of wrinkles and sores, overgrown by a moss-like beard. What's this? Who disturbs Hag's work? His voice rattles and gurgles like that of a drowning man. I'm just exploring the catacombs. The figure arms a gnarled finger at the door. Then go and take your and thank your gods I'm not hungry. If there's nothing else, be on your way. What are you doing down here? Research, a hodgepodge of am amnesty and necromancy. I have peace and quiet as well as, as um an abundant supply of suspects. Hmm. What are those creatures behind you? Just a few personal projects. Sorry, souls stuck, stuck, stuck in their mortal shells. Their flesh is as dead as mine, though their minds are not as well maintained. They flock to me like worms to drakes. They're not half as intelligent, but he watches as one shambles into a desk. They serve for amusement. So, what are we supposed to do with you? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, did that pew? Oops. The scattered feverish notes detail various animatic procedures and rites of necromancy. See, necromancy is not any different. It really isn't. Tarnished locket. The silver locket is defined. Mm, yeah, it's just nothing. What he's doing here is just a grim assortment of rusty blades adorn this table. Hmm. So I know where he's at. He's up in here. Who do we talk to about it? That's the whole thing. And it's almost an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. And when we come back, we will finish looking through this catacomb. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do about that guy. Hmm. He might be behind what happened at the Hill Heritage, whatever it's called. Heritage Hill. Yeah, it could very well be him. If you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.